Hello, I'm Lee. Let me walk through our process to build your van. We have the schedule for which van and we follow that schedule to build our frame. In each model, we have the master plan, the side plan plan, and in each plan, we have the cutting list. It will show you what size you need to cut, what timber you use, and also when we do this, we make the list from the long piece to the short one to minimize the waste. As you see, we don't have many offcut in here. So like 95% of the timber we use on our frame. We have the docking saw, which will help you to cut the timber in the correct side. We also have this saw to do the notching, the channel for the wiring. In the other place, they use the router to do this, and they, it's hard for them to make it straight. With this one, you can see it perfectly. This is one of our chassis from ProLight. In our factory, we do the proper timber for the flooring, 12 mil, with a size 1200 by 2400. We do not use one piece floor like many other factory does. If you compare with the one piece flooring, when you step on it, you will feel it a lot stronger. The reason why this flooring timber is rich compared to one piece floor because of the beam and the compound material on the floor. After that process, I suppose we do the lino, we get the flooring side frames. The side frames are designed specially within mind of our electrical issues which all caravan companies face. And how do we tackle that? Well, one of the key features in this is we've got hidden cavities which nobody sees. So our electrical component in terms of warranties is nil at this stage, but hopefully nil across the board. The reason being is we can get to it and find a root cause connection. Look at how much space you've got. And if you have a look at bits on that side where it's wired, you'll see that all the cavities internal got so much space that you won't, it will prevent you from actually having an issue. And if it is, we can replace it fairly quickly without any charge. If you have a look over here, look at how much space we've got in between the ribbing. So even though the shower is in there, if I needed to get into it, I can. Our furniture is also from one of the biggest suppliers in this area and they make the best quality for the furniture. So once the furniture has been done in the van, we got the electrical sparking brought in the van, the plumbing brought in the van, get it ready for cladding. We also waterproof the van before cladding to prevent the leak and damage from the water. After that, they will isolate and do the alucabon on the side roof and finish the van in cladding state and then we'll come in and finish the van. So let me show you the finished one. This is our finished van. I took my daughter into one of our first van, the first view, and she really loved it. She loved the color inside the van, she loved all the interior in the van, and she keep talking about it. It's a chair. It's a chair too. And we still stand and have a Our van has most of the things you want to go outside. We have two solar panels on the roof. We have little battery. We also have custom toolbox outside to make it fit with the curve, which you won't see it anywhere else. We put extra $5,000 worth of extras, which other companies deem as special, but we don't. What we do is two lithium batteries, aircon, every bits and pieces that you can think of is in this van at a reasonable price for the consumer. Please check us out.